right, what's up everybody? So cold, wet, and raining. Um, I'm gonna try to knock something out today. We're gonna take apart the intake housings and see what filters the Ferrari's got right now. Uh, in all likelihood, I'll upgrade to the K&N filters. Uh, all depends on what's going on in there. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of that. Um, shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, it looks like just a uh, Phillips. And uh, we'll go ahead and knock Okay, we got these off. Let's check them out. These basically look like factory. Damn, the thing's really in there. There we go. Yeah. So you think that's a? Uh, you think that's about 20 years old? I wonder if that started off white, or if that was originally yellow. Although they look to be in pretty good condition. However, I could tell that uh, moving to a Canon filter is just going to be a lot better. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and do that. I just didn't want to order them. If maybe, let's say, somebody already put some in there. All right? So, all right, we got the answer to that. All right, got to do it for today. May as well take a look at the second one. You never know, there could be like a rat's nest in here or something. Oh, Jesus Christ, I think it's stuck in there for that. I don't know if the camera's gonna see that. That just came out of there. That also just came out of there. Looks like lint and hair. I don't know how that happens. Woo! Oh yeah, that's just green, that one. Look at that. That literally looks like little, little bits of hair and... Anyway. Let's clean this debris out and go ahead and do that. Okay, here we are. Sometime in the future, we're going to go ahead and drop these bad boys in there. And just like that, wouldn't you know it, uh, pretty simple mod, very easy to do, 10 minutes, and uh, she's going to be running right as rain. We're not going to start her up right now because we're still in the middle of fixing the radiator and condenser up front, but uh, that video is to come. So until next time. All right, super quick video today. I just changed the uh, Canon intakes and uh, the other filters arrived. The cabin filter, which is located just under the hood. This little seal just pops right off of there. And uh, that's the old filter. It actually doesn't look terrible. But uh, I figured it was worthwhile replacing. But it goes to reinforce something. There was a last service done in 2017. And of course, I didn't know what was done. But seeing that this filter is not that bad, it might have been a full service, right? Because on one otherwise, do you change the filter unless it was just by coincidence? So anyway, <clears throat> I already ordered it. So what the hell? We're going to go ahead and drop the new filter in. Uh, why not? Uh, this one is a little dirty, so you know it's worthwhile just changing. It wasn't that expensive. So we're just going to go ahead and just uh, drop that in there like that. And uh, that's all today's video is going to be about. Nice and easy. And there she is, right? Nice and easy. It's worth mentioning that I got this filter from a link that somebody posted on uh, Ferrari chat. So if uh, you got one of these cars and you're looking for a filter, really inexpensive, I want to say it was uh, free shipping. Filter might have been 30 maybe $35. Really inexpensive filter. Although I don't know if it's worth holding on to this one. Actually, now in the light, it's pretty bad. But uh, <clears throat> Filter is really inexpensive compared to what I was seeing out there. So uh, Ferrari chat, uh, if I could find the link, I'll go ahead and drop it in the description below. 
You guys have a good one. Work in progress. We're getting there.